I never did fully check out Erica's personality. The flirty, family-oriented, family handy, charismatic, and equestrian. Oh, I did check them out. Sorry, equestrian looks like a handy one. She can deal with the horses. I haven't been letting her near them, though. Weirdly. I've kind of been keeping her around the house looking after the babies. But I suppose she's family-oriented, too. She's good at both. Uh... Teach the child to walk. What's this one doing? Oh, no one cares about you. Oh, I suppose I better potty train him. Do not mess this one up, Regan. This is like your last shot. You might take a short swim after this, if you know what I mean. How did he just go by himself? He is potty trained, oh. Oh, then I just snatched Bentley away from, you know, his very important walking lessons. Oops. Oh, what was the reward to do with making friends at work? Office hero. Oh, he already has it. Good. I forgot if I'd taken that. <laughs> I love Bismarck just wandering into the kids' room playing with toy cars in the background. Childish is such an awesome trait. Oh no, he's been arre arrested. No, oh, Bumblebee, you can't go to jail. Is there anything I can get to, you know, make him not lose money for this? Something about vacation, or I think. Um. Oh, vacationer. He can take any day off work and no one will notice. Doesn't have enough points for that one, though. Yet. Does Baxter still not know how to talk? I thought he was through with all his learning. I guess he's slower than I thought. Bentley looks so funny in his little polo neck onesie there. He looks like he should be, fighting. he's like a, t he's like a rich midget, I guess. That's what his picture looks like. And so for some reason I imagine he's wearing skis off the bottom of it. That's like his skiing polo neck. He's skiing in the Alps. At his lodge. Dude, pass in time. Just make friends while he's there. Oh, toddlers. At least it doesn't last too long. Don't be. They'll be starting school before I know it. Oh, Baxter needs food and attention and stuff. Um. Oh, he didn't finish his food. 
Um, I miss in the Sims 2 when the bottles were like persistent. Like you'd give the child a bottle and it would stay on the floor and then they could pick it up and drink more later. I'd forgotten about that feature like until right now. There's a much sort of more realistic way of doing it as well. And then you could get those special bottles that give them a, like a skill boost when they use them. It was nice. Okay, let's get him to teach Baxter to talk. Because he must nearly be done. Oh no, he's not even nearly done. Okay, just have your dinner. Baxter can wait. Actually, no. Put him to bed. Dinner can wait. Oh my god. Walking out to the garden to pick him up. To carry him back into the house and put him to bed. Every time. Sometimes these sims just drive me insane. Just put him down. <laughs> Taking him outside to feed him now. Oh, that is annoying. The kid house was a mistake, but I really do need some way to... Um, stop that weird pathfinding thing. Just, like, I'll have to build a, in a new nursery somewhere. Um, did I see the gnomes around? to see if there's anyone new in our little group. Who's this one? Oh, a new one. This one is Marcella. Did we already have a Marcella? I think we have. I think that's two of them. I can't really tell. Did, are there names on these? No. Oh well. wish there's a way I could sort of program in my sim behaviour, like, if hunger below this level, then do this. It'd be very handy. Oh no! Okay, who's around? Even though he doesn't need to go, I'm going to potty train him anyway because that's the miracle of potty training you don't, they don't actually have to need to go you just stick them on the potty and it fills up like that now can he talk already oh he can teach him to walk then Bentley the good kid Now the bad kid needs some food. No. No time for hugs. Maybe this is why all my sim marriages drift so far apart. <laughs> I forbid them from hugging like this. his work performance not gone up one bit? Oh right, of course he spent the day in jail. Come on, oh, time for work. Oh no, 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 no. 
horsey social is dropping. Um, get over here. Talk to this horse. Crisis averted. So much going on. Too much to keep track of. Oh no, he's going to wet himself. Um, oh, just, yeah, let Baxter out. Why is Baxter in bed? He's not even tired. Stupid Sims. I'm just losing my patience with them today. I know I lose my patience with them most days. It's it's probably the, you know one of the main aspects of these videos. <laughs> but my God. I don't know what's worse. Just that the idea that people could be this inept or the idea that there probably are people this inept in the real world, not just in The Sims somewhere. Is he in jail again? Oh, come on. Come on. Not cool. Can he just like leave or something? How close is he with his co workers? Oh! He's best friends with Royce. Maybe they're both in jail, like together. Who's that? Oh, Monty Palmer. Forgot about him. Our sort of non native ghost. Oh my god, who keeps putting him to bed? Seriously, just. Oh, I bet it was her. Oh, can she feed him on the floor? No. Just put him down. She's not going to be able to put him down. She keeps falling through the bloody floor. Why is he so tired? Did someone take him out of his crib before he's ready? This is the stuff that annoys me. I think I get most annoyed at The Sims when there are toddlers around, just because there's a way to raise them and none of, like an easy way to get through it all and none of The Sims ever seem to use it. They just go out of their way to make it the most difficult process imaginable. Yeah, Baxter, I know you're exhausted. That's because some idiot let you out of your crib too early. I've got a freeze. Can 
controlled. Oh, phew. That was close. I thought my game had frozen. And I'd lost, like, the last video. Last two videos. Oh no, it's happening again. Okay. I'm just going to save here because, um,. That was a little bit too close. Wouldn't want to crash and, you know, had an unexpected moment like this. It could, it would set me back like 40 minutes of footage. So, how about them save icons? Is Plumbob a sim word or a real word? I think I mentioned that before. I can't remember. I've been doing these videos so long. I've probably repeated myself about 20 times over at this stage. It's like an infinite cycle. It's like the circle of life, but it's the circle of like inane sims related babble. We have a problem now with Bentley, because in the time it's taken him to bring him to bed, he's hungry again. And now we need to feed him. And he needs to use the potty. Actually, one thing I'm going to do that will save me a lot of hassle now is get rid of these cribs. I don't need them anymore. Poorly placed to begin with, anyway. Um... house is very, very stressful. I actually just can't wait until, like, Bentley is an adult and I can just get back to forcing him to marry the wrong woman again. That's the part of the game I really like. Oh, 